Hey guys, we're here in A1, and I'm talking about Microsoft and Bethesda. Well, technically, Microsoft and Xenomax, because Microsoft is in the works to buy Xenomax, the parent company of Bethesda Softworks. Now, many of you know Bethesda's developers behind games like Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, and other ones as well. So if this deal does go through, according to Bethesda's press relief, Microsoft expects the acquisition to close in the second half of fiscal year. 2021 and to have minimal impact to non-GAAP operating income in fiscal years 2021 and 2022. Now, I don't know all that jargon, but if the deal does close, wow, I think this would be a big change because Microsoft owning Zenimax and therefore owning Bethesda. Now, let me say, I don't believe that Microsoft will cause a bunch of those franchises like The Elder Scrolls and Fallout and Wolfenstein to be exclusives to the xbox franchise but imagine elder scrolls 6 being available on xbox game pass day one i think that would really be an advantage for microsoft with the xbox series x and s why because if these games like big triple a games like elder scrolls and whatnot come out and they're on game pass first that's gonna encourage a lot of people to go to game pass and that would not just be on the console i believe it would be on project x cloud and Game Pass for PC, I believe. So it would encourage a lot of people, whether they even own the Xbox Series X or the S, to actually get Xbox Game Pass. Because if these games, these big Bethesda games, all of them come to Xbox Game Pass on day one, a lot of people are gonna be like, wait a minute, why would I pay for these games rather than just either subscribe or like get Game Pass for a certain amount of time so I could play these games instead? And I think that would really cause Game Pass to like fly. And I'm definitely not saying this is not Microsoft's gonna do. I mean, I, I, I'm not even sure if Microsoft knows exactly. They probably have plans, but I don't think they know exactly how they're gonna handle this. But if the deal closes and Microsoft does own ZeniMax and therefore Bethesda, ID Software, ZeniMax Online Studios, Arcane Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roundhouse Studios. And, and yes, maybe they'll have one of those studios or some of them studios do exclusives for them so they can get more exclusives in the xbox series x and xbox series s lifespan but i really feel but i really think that microsoft will go more the route of simply having these games on game pass and still allowing them to be on the other consoles remember what happened i remember what happened when they bought minecraft and not only did they still allow that on other consoles but they did the whole better together commercial with nintendo switch so i just don't think that microsoft is going to go the whole okay, now you only make games for us route. I really think that Bethesda will still continue to make games for basically all consoles, but Microsoft will still definitely use it to their advantage. Anyway, do you guys think this deal will close? And what do you guys think Microsoft will do with all these studios if it does, especially Bethesda? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.